Yeah, a lot of remembrances about Tom Lucan uh, today, Colin, here at St. Xavier Church downtown. A lot of political luminaries are here uh, to uh, pay their respects to the Lucan family, uh, Lucan's son, Charlie, sharing a lot of stories today about one of the city's most powerful and passionate political leaders. He was 92 when he died last week, former mayor, former congressman, lifelong Democratic Party leader, and not shy about anything. He wore his political beliefs on his sleeve. He was a mentor to so many you'd lose count. He marched at Selma, championed transportation for the poor, demonstrably opposed capital punishment long after he had left office. He could be rough and gruff, yet tender-hearted as well. I know in his senior years, he'd read to underprivileged children in schools. Tom Lucan was an old-time Paul who worked the church festivals expertly and authentically, and he was in his element there. He was always gearing up for something, you know, but he was that guy that said, you know, he, he everybody around, you know, who wants a beer? And, you know, 50 people would come over and everybody would be drinking beer on Tom Lucan in Shabbat cups. And it's like, whoa, you know, but that was the beauty of Tom. I mean, he loved that. He loved that kind of thing. Tom Lucan could put his hand on, his sh on your shoulder to try to get results, or he could use that same hand to pound his fist on the table, whatever it took. Um, he was um, uh, legendary uh, in a sense, and, and that's what a lot of political leaders who have gathered here today are talking about today. His funeral mass starts here at St. Xavier downtown at 1230. Reporting live downtown, John London, WWT News 5.